Black Swan can be an underutilized card, so let's use her today. In this first version, it is mostly a zoo deck, as you would expect Black Swan to be. We have Blue Marvel to buff our one-cost cards, or all of our cards, matter of fact. We have Sasquatch, which we can get down early, and we have Shang-Chi that can clean up any big targets on the, our opponent's side of the board. And we also have a Lion to finish the game off. And here is the budget version. Same basic philosophy, so I won't dive into the specific cards necessarily, and we will just talk through it as I show gameplay. Okay, first up we have Numeroid. Project Pegasus. I think I just slammed down the Sasquatch. Get that out of my hands. We are up against a normal size deck. Gladiator, are you going to pull out something big? Yes, you do. Oh, wow. And it kills that. Well, I guess the cloak didn't matter. Okay, so no more Eliath. I have Sean for middle. I also have armor. I think I hold... I want to play Sean on... I want to play Sean on four. My name's not technically Sean. It's shang -Chi. And then armor next turn. To really solidify that. I have Electra for the sunspot. I'm in a decent position, so I'm going to snap. I'm going to play Electra, and I think I... Eh, we'll, we'll be patient on the rocket. So we ruin their soap. Electra is highly unexpected <laughs> in this deck. I play Sean. It would be nice to get a clone of Sean as well. I think I just play Sean middle. And then armor. Armor the next turn. Here. Nico. Rocket. Turn that into a demon. And Ant-Man. I think this maximizes the power I'm putting left. So if they play... I don't know what they're playing. What deck is this? They're playing a wacky deck just like me. If they play... Spectrum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we snapped this game appropriately. I have no clue what deck my opponent was playing. It might have been a priority deck with Eliath. They might have been playing a similar deck to me. Just throwing in a Gladiator and a Cloak. Boy, that throws me off. So we did what we needed to do. We protected the Monster Island, our monster, after we shone. And we were loading up power left. So yeah, they could have played a smaller card to contest Throne Room. So I was thinking about doing zero left and Titania right, but no matter kind of what they were doing, they were out of options because Ant-Man gets the buff, even though their Ant-Man gets the buff. So we have a four bonus here, four bonus energy here. What am I trying to say? <laughs> we have four points of power as a lead on the left. So if I play zero, that's 10 points of power that we're leading. Can they play a big enough card left, but also a big enough card right? I was willing to roll that dice and clearly they were unable to do it, so they retreated. Okay, next up we have Rai Yen. Elysium, okay. My one cost cards are free anyway. No need for the Black Swan. On turn three, I can play a bunch of cards if I need to. Quicksilver, is this a Arisham deck? Yes, it is. I think I want them to have priority. So I Black Swan here. Do I rip away Elysium? Because this is my Black Swan turn. 
So I could rip away Elysium. And then I have priority. Fantastic. <laughs> Maybe they wanted to play a six cost card. So now it's how many cards do they play middle? We drew into Sasquatch. That is perfect. I'm going to snap because I'm pretty sure I can win middle. So the Sasquatch and the Electra. And then it's just winning one more lane. And we will see. Can they... There's no way they can get that much power middle, right? Okay, the wave. Zero and Titania. I can actually hold all of these cards. It's not smart to play them all now. We are the future. Okay. Just dragged one. Oh, and I got the buff. I have priority. So they're gonna have to play cards over here. At least one. So what's the maximum amount of power I can put over here? It's playing Blue Marvel. So I think this is what we do. Fantastic. Took out an impatient <laughs> Harrison player. And uh, a, a good, solid win. It was a little unexpected. But you kind of see the flexibility in what this deck can do. We drew into Sasquatch right on time. Black Swan can discount cards. That's how we can get down the Sasquatch. We have Nico, Fantastic for location disruption. And we have one cost cards that can be buffed by Blue Marble. We have Sean just in case, but I really needed to change this location so they couldn't play a six cost card into Kiln, and we persevered. Time Theater first location. We are up against Super. We do have Zero and Titania. That's a good combination. I might just throw them into the unknown. Doctor Doom is fantastic too. They are an Arishem gamer. So I'm taking Friday gambles here. since this deck is at a pretty big disadvantage against Arishem. So playing in the unknown locations can favor us. I want to get rid of cards in my hand. So I will just throw down the armor or what i have sean i'll throw on the armor here i want to i want to throw left so i'm going to encourage them to play their big cards left i don't think they're gonna play middle i think they're gonna play left actually so yeah there it is but i want to add power right there's our Sean. So I think I Sean now, and then Electra. Okay, getting a four cost Doom. But they also have Quinjet down, so. I guess it's just stick to the game plan. They haven't snapped. I'm uncertain on this. They got down two cost reducers in Wave and Quinjet. So it's basically, is this going to be enough? And just barely, I should have played. Oh, wait. <laughs> Juicy. I got fooled out. We won the tiebreaker. Fantastic. Rogue was not enough power. I was thinking I should have played America Chavez left just to shore that up some more. But we we came out fantastic. I, I want to say I actually won this game on turn five, was it? When I played Sean. That made them abandon right. I mean, that made them abandon middle. And I knew to focus on right. That was the game plan. Dr. Doom, we of course get more power left anyway, spread our power, and this, this really worked out.
Okay, next up we have Pyroshen with the Galactus Avatar. I will be patient since I have Black Swan in hand. No need to play out all of the one cost cards. I do have Rescue. So it might be a little weird how I navigate my turns with Black Swan. I think I hold for one more turn and see what they do. Agent Colson. So now we have Project Pegasus. So I play out Rescue here. Ant-Man, or do I... Because I still have Black Swan. So I can be patient. And America Chavez. And then Armor Middle. I think that's what I do, because next turn I can play Black Swan. And just assess where I want to be playing. Fantastic, armor gets activated again. <laughs> no one cost cards to take out. So I just played Black Swan now. It's funny that they haven't snapped me. I think they're in a pretty strong position. When you're able to get down a blue marvel plus another card because of Project Pegasus. Ugh. I don't know if you got any good cards. <laughs> That is the benefit of, of this deck. So we drew into zero, which is nice. So I think we make them scared. Here, here, and here. I will hold on to Electra. That might be a mistake. Or do I play it down now? I'll hold it and see what we draw into. Armor and the Cersei. Okay. Middle is a wrap. So, really, it's just for them slamming a big card left. So, playing Ant-Man left was the play. Because the most amount of power I can get is Electra's for 18, and then Blue Marvel is worth another 6. 18, 24. So they can surely get another 10 cost card? I mean, power card? It's funny they haven't snapped. So, snapped. <laughs> so that's when you retreat. This is why you do not snap on the last turn. Let this be a lesson Escape. to people that snap on the last turn. I legitimately was going to give them an extra cube. I was going to see it through. They would have won two cubes. They would have doubled their winnings. But they were greedy. They didn't want to double their winnings. And because they snapped, I'm getting out of here on one cube. So all they get is one. So they get half of what they probably were going to get. Because playing and they would have won tiebreaker. So playing a 10 cost card here is pretty doable. Especially with Blue Marvel. So all you need is a nine power card. I keep saying cost. Nine power card. So... This was a, just a poor snap by my opponent, so they, they just get a cube for it. Okay, next up we have Perito Rocket. They are a normal sized deck. We do have Sean, our tech card. I'm continuing to be patient. Turn three is when I might act, because turn four is rescue and turn five is blue marvel. And turn six is Doctor Doom. So they probably want to move Jeff middle. So I play Ant-Man. Do I play down Rocket? I guess I just get Rocket out of my hands. Okay, we will not be getting the Atlantis buff. Play Rescue here. And then we will play Blue Marvel. Uh, do I still play Blue Marvel? 
No? I think I play Titania. They can always... This Jeff can slide out. They have priority. So if they don't play anything here, they can slide Jeff and take the Titania. But Titania is a pretty risky play there. I think I will forego the buff. Play Blue Marvel Middle. Okay. And then Black Swan, followed by Doctor Doom and my one cost, or maybe it's Sean. Maybe this is a Doctor Octopus, and they take my Sean. Not bad. Not bad. I think there's only one line here. Destroying this rock is so dangerous with the Electra. So I guess I don't do that. We get two Dooms. And just a Chavez. I don't want to play Titania. Oh, they load up left. So I assume they win middle with this play. But can they get 10 points? If they had played Cannonball right, they would have been at 7. I guess Cannonball right doesn't win either. And they're just loading up on power. But did they really think they could win the tiebreaker? I guess. This is a high-ranked player. So, you know middle just ties with the Titania play. There's nothing for them to Sean. Cannonball doesn't destroy because of armor. Gladiator really messed them up royal pulling armor there for what they wanted to do and doc ock grabbed the single card <laughs> that that we needed too so this this worked out very well for us and we were able to capitalize and we did not snap on the last turn because i want to double my winnings and i do not want to chase them off okay next up we have tree our hand is okay. It's kind of mixed. We're up against an Arisham player. Big house. We sh That should be the lane we can win. This is probably a Loki Arisham deck. We don't want to armor middle. So I will drop armor left. But they also might be able to get a big card left and protect it with the armor. But I wouldn't be able to shine it anyway in the big house, so that's fine. Okay, I guess it's just load up middle. Play rocket here. I'm fairly certain they're going to play middle. With New York being movable, you want to load up as many Shuri's lab cards as you can. And then you can slide them over to New York. So Rocket Middle, I fully expect them to play here. Middle with four energy. And then next turn, we will play Rescue Middle. I guess not. <laughs> Weird, they took that up. So I guess I sneak Rescue into the big house. So put Rescue into the big house. They're probably going to play a bigger card here. And then next turn, I can play Black Swan. And then going into turn six, I have Doctor Doom. Enchantress. And that's fine. I wasn't looking to protect anything there anyway. Just playing it out for stats. Oh, we have Blue Marvel. Black Swan here, just like I planned. And how much do they abandon the big house and Shuri's lab? And boy, are they ready for that shot. <laughs> they are ready. I think I keep my cards left. They have priority. So 
So I can fill up middle with Sean and Titania? That's pretty strong. So that is what I'm going to do. I, I, of course, have to play Titania last. But I like this play. I'm not doing the math. Maybe I should. 10, 16, 16, 18, 22. 22 plus... Okay, let's let's see this out for one cube. Yep, they abandon there. And then Alive? <laughs> Airship! We we played this out perfectly. We we thought they were gonna abandon left because of the big house. We of course play Sean first. Clear that away. And then Titania gets her buff. And we are swimming in the money. So this is a perfect game to end on with the budget deck and let's get into the deck breakdowns. So this is the standard version I created first. Basically a zoo style deck with Black Swan. Uh, with this version, I typically like to get Black Swan down on turn four, unless I have Sasquatch in hand and sometimes I'll get her down on turn three, play a bunch of cards so I can get Sasquatch down the next turn or I'll play her down on four, turn four and then I'll play Blue Marvel on turn five with a bunch of my one cost cards. This deck plays a little bit different from the Black Swan decks I'm used to, where you want to play Black Swan on turn five to flood the board on the last turn. This one, you have flexibility based on how you're drawing. And then we have the budget version, similar type of game plan. The thing I will call out is if you are watching this during its release, we are probably still in a pretty heavy Erisham period. And that is a tough deck to overcome for this specific Black Swan deck. So this is something I would advise you to just kind of keep around. And once Erisham dies down a little bit, playing this deck, you should be able to find some good success. So now for some bonus clips. Or maybe just one? I don't know what is happening. <laughs> so I filled because... Was there anything I could have done middle? There isn't. So, I think I just play Electra and Alaya. They can still get points left. So, I think they completely abandon right. So, let's see what they're up to. I'm, I'm willing to see this out. So, this is very much a gamble in, in the air. Maybe they tried to scare me away. Oh. Is that enough? Or did I just pull it out? Because the Eliath is worth a lot. Oh. Leader, what a deck. 